All right, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode. We are hopping in the car right now, and uh, it's a little after 11 a.m. We're gonna head to the water and uh, meet up with Aaron, uh, Ape Ben's uh, fishing on uh, YouTube, and uh, we're gonna go out on his uh, rig and uh, just uh, rip around um, the St. Lucie River and uh, possibly uh, head down towards uh, the inlet area and uh, the last uh, few days I've been on a hot bite out by the inlet and uh, he's been on a hot bite uh, in the river so uh, we might try to do both and uh, just get on uh, one great hot bite and uh, yeah I'll uh, see you guys at the water on the boat. made it out here we're gonna try and catch uh, some bait real quick uh, Aaron's up on the bow with the cast net and we're gonna possibly hit uh, some offshore structure with the bait and also probably some structure uh, like docks and seawalls along um, the shoreline and uh, then you know maybe later as it starts to get darker we'll go uh, down towards the inlet uh, where I was on a hot bite uh, the last few days and uh, the water is super murky as you can see so hopefully there's some mullet that we can spot and Aaron could toss the net and catch. Yeah, we'll see. You, you see any? No, do you? No. Oh, there's a snook right there, a big snook. You see the, the, the puff cloud? Yep. He was sitting in the sun. Over slot? Uh, it's probably just like a slot. That's a good sign. I love seeing that because then it shows you where they might be, you know? He was waiting for the mullet to swim by too, probably. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And it's you got like a medium than, size. Yeah, it's better than zero. That's good to start. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can dump it. No way, a freaking thread fin. Yeah, I saw that. Alright guys, look at those juicy baits. Aaron took another toss and got a couple bigger ones. <laughs> these will these will be perfect for some big jacks. All right, well we got a good amount of bait to just kind of get started, so uh, we're gonna head up to uh, an area and uh, start uh, swimming some bait, throwing some artificials, and see if we can catch some fish. All right, catch me a big one. There's one. That's a pretty one. Fun on the light tackle, right? All right, I'm gonna grab this Hydra pencil now. I think that'll get us a bite at least. Oh, there's a fish. Was that on you or just uh? By yeah, that was a snook, it looked like. Let's see which uh, spook gets hit. <laughs> oh, I did. Dang. Oh, again. Just got hit again. I'm gonna try this guy again. Oh, you saved him. Good. Yeah. He's too, like, perfect. I might just throw this mega on and just call it a day here. <laughs> See if something eats it. Oh, that was a feed right behind us. Oh, there he is. Hopefully, there's a couple of them just cruising the wall. Switch. Look, he went right to my bait. He went this way. Look at him. He's on, he, he's on me. Did he not eat him? He missed him. Are you joking? 
There's more. There's another one over there. He totally missed them. Was it a snook or a jack? It looked like a jack, how uh, fast he was swimming. Wow, I, I have terrible luck. Yeah, uh, no, you don't. You <laughs> that might be a freaking snook. No, I don't think he got it. He still missed it. Dude, I could bomb. I could easily... Oh, just got hit. Finally. And I think he's got it in his mouth, too. There he is. Jack? Yeah. Jack? I think it's a small to medium sized jack. I'll take it, though. It's better than nothing. On the little finger mullet. Yeah. These guys are a blast. It's so cool when they hit it and then they like they take off left or right so quick. Yeah, and then the line goes slack for a little bit until you catch up with them. Oh, can I get him? Can I get him? Oh yeah. All right, not getting skunk today. Nice fun size on the light tackle. Is that a storm behind us? That would be the first for a long time. It is a storm. It is raining over there. Yeah. I'm glad I brought my rain check. <laughs> Uh, All right, let's go back to uh, the Hydra Pencil. We made a slight move, and uh, we've got a crazy storm heading this way, or, but it's luckily a little east of us, so hopefully we don't get rained on. Oh gosh, instant, dude. <laughs> Feels like it. As soon as the, the, the hydro pencil hit the water, that was epic. I'm not sure what it is. It might be a jack, because it hasn't jumped yet. It's definitely a bigger jack than what we had. That was crazy quick. And you know, that's like how Florida fishing can be a lot of times. Like, you might think like, you know, things aren't gonna turn around. Or I guess that could just goes for any place you're fishing. You know, you gotta stay persistent oh and never give up. And uh, you getting eight right now? Yep. I might've got eight. You gotta double us up, dude. You on? Where are you? <laughs> oh, you're that way, okay. You're, it, the, the mullet just slipped out? Yeah, I was being lazy about it. Very lazy about it. Nice. Much better than what we got earlier. Oh, look. He unhooked himself and slid right back in the water. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, just got hit. Oh, there he is. Uh, oh my gosh, no, get out of there. He's trying to find the pilings. No, it's a jack. Yeah, I think it's a bigger one. Oh man. Or he could be just about the same size. Woo! Oh my God, spit again. Come on, dude. So to get that last bite, because the wind is blowing in this way, I cast it a little more to the left, the wind kind of carried it, and then it landed right next to those pilings, and I was just letting it swing as I kind of walked it along those pilings and that seawall, and this jack crushed it. Dude, both times, doubled up twice, and I lost my, I didn't even make my video safe for the Oh, this one's a little bit bigger.
You should try the uh, Astro Spook. Can you pass me the net? Yep. Thanks. Yeah, the, the, it's getting slippy, the floor. <sighs> if you've never caught Jack Raval, you gotta get out and do it or come down the Florida and do it. These fish are just powerhouses. Oh, got her. There we go. Look, and she de-hooked herself again. That makes my life a lot easier. All right, let's try and do it again. By the way, I'm using a 40 pound Iowa braid and a 60 pound uh, cigar fluorocarbon leader and uh, as you can see i tied direct with a loop knot so that this plug has great side to side action and uh, you, if you tie direct you'll like with just say like a clinch knot or an improved clinch knot a polymer knot um, you're going to notice that the bait is not going to walk as well and uh, you can also use like a ta clip but um I, I find sometimes with a ta clip that extra weight in the head will pull the nose down so it won't swim as accurate so i i like prefer the loop knot yeah i had a i had a bite on um on that flat by uh um hell's gate yeah. like where the jacks were feeding on the alco and really heavy yeah. um i had a, a massive tarpon hit the astro spook there too but he came off right away i haven't seen the jack there in like a month really I haven't fished there in like a month, probably. So, I'm sure there. yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't be. I mean, if I was catching big jacks the other day at the inlet, they're probably yeah. there. Oh, just got hit. Are you kidding me, bro? That's a big snook. Oh bro. my gosh. That's a big snook. <laughs> That's crazy. While Aaron is showing me a video <laughs> of Ryan Mori hooking crazy. a tarpon right here, I just oh, get hit by. Uh, a nice snook right here. Yeah, he's fun size, not huge, but I'll take him. Wild. Wild. Nice. Were you even moving it? Yeah, no, I was. I was twitching while I was trying to watch the video. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Nice, uh, thick, healthy one. I would probably say like 27, maybe uh, 27 and a half. All right, let's keep it going. It uh, seems like the, the spooks or uh, topwater Yozuri dog walking type plugs are uh, the hot ticket today. Are you throwing the top knock again? Yeah. All right, Aaron's throwing the top knock. I'm throwing the hydro pencil. Man, that thing was big, whatever that was. And it, it hit like You on? Yeah. Nice. Sounds like a, a jack. Really? Yeah, I'm almost positive. There, I got it. We're good. You good? Yeah. All right. Oh. Nice. Look at that. There he is. Found a little guy. <laughs> he almost doubled this up again. This is like a reoccurring thing where I, I hook up and then Aaron gets a bite, like right when I'm fighting the fish. All right, not a big guy, but he ripped a little jag and it was cool seeing him blow up. So still really fun. We still really haven't found a mama today, Aaron. We gotta find one. Aaron is on. That's like right in the same hole where I just caught mine. Nice, about the same size. Why didn't he hit it? Oh, little Jack. Little Jack? Yeah, pretty sure. He didn't even make a blow up. <laughs> oh no, or it's a micro snook. 
it or no, it's a trout. No speckled freak, that's trout. Epic. Look at that. That's a surprise. Look how yellow he is. His fins. It's beautiful. St. Wow. Lucie River trout. Maybe you had a big trout that tried to eat you. Maybe there's a few of them there. See ya. All right, we're leaving uh, this spot where we started and uh, actually heading to the inlet. I've been on a pretty good bite there. And we're gonna try and uh, anchor, cast our baits into the strike zone, let them swing in the current, and uh, see if we can just get a few more before it gets dark. Uh, we probably got like 30 minutes of daylight left, so let's do it. Looks like it just started coming in. It's like very little current. I'm waiting for this thing to light up. It's like more up uh, up ahead. They start getting stacked up more. You know, that's not, that's not, that's not what we're looking for. I've only ever actually marked fish and caught them in shore one time. And it was up there actually where that boat is. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, it lit up and I threw the DOA shrimp and slayed all night. Mo I marked most of them off this plastic stuff up here. All right. That's along the shore. I'm ready, I'm ready to see it. That actually, that could be a stack of fish. Yeah, it could. Like, um, ye I yesterday they were, like they were so thick that my sonar was marking fish as the bottom. Look at that. See, like that's that is, that's, that's all, all fish, fish right there. That's all fish. They're right in the ledge, too, right? In yeah, the they're ledge. they're sitting right on the ledge. Yeah. So what's the plan, Captain? Rich? I think. Oh, that. Yeah. See that? That's that's all snook right there. Dude, let's. I'm excited. See that? Oh yeah. my God! They're they're here. The last couple of days it's been like this. Very exciting. Um. I say we look at that. See, they're even exactly. suspended. Wait, I want to film that. Um. So right now they're behind us probably because your transducer is on the back right corner or left corner. Right here, back left corner right here. I would say let's go out a little bit deeper. I'm like ready, bro. That's a huge mark. That's all fish. That's bro. all fish right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I gotta use my sonar. The, the trawler can hold us here, by the way. You think? Yeah. All right. We probably have like 20, 30 minutes, and then the current's really gonna start ripping. I'm gonna try the hyperelastic swim bait now. Hard to get down there. The current's a little stronger, it feels like down there, too. It might not be a bad idea trying the spook. There he is. Fish on. On the drop. It's a little guy, but it's something to start. And check it out, it's a little fat snook. Oh, he came off right there. Most of these are fat snook that are stacked here. But I think once we dial in, we'll have a shot at some slot size common snook. But the shrimp is, uh, it's not very heavy. How heavy is that? This is three quarters of an ounce. I was using half ounce the last couple of days. That might work, but I would cast it way up there to get it down. Did somebody try to eat it right there, bro? Hmm. There he is. <sighs> Ah, another dinker. All right, cute little fat snook. Hopefully we can get some bigger ones. Lose one? There he is. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Uh, better. Fat. It's a fat snook. God, that's so crazy that they're just out here. So guys, uh, the normal size for fat snook, uh, Aaron, what would you say, like 10 to 15 inches? 
kind of like what I already caught. And this one is a solid like 23, 24, maybe 25 if you pinch the tail. You know, we're just giving it a rough estimate, but uh, you know, any fat snook over 20 inches a is a good fat snook. That's a mega fat. I was getting them up to 27 yesterday. There we go. Oh, oh dude. I found I had a couple yesterday that hit it so like they swam up so fast when they hit it like it was just too much slack I couldn't even set the hook that one hit it on the drop better fish I, I didn't even have to jig it dude insane Another good quality fat snook. There he is. Beautiful. I love the colors. Look at that. Really bright yellow fins. Yeah, try casting up front and just let it sink all the way to the bottom. As soon as you feel bottom, just start popping it and uh, let it drop and reel up the slack. So to catch these fish, I'm just using the hyperelastic swim bait which is very decrepit <laughs> looking but it's still working because it's matching uh the hatch of the finger mullet that are here taking away your concentration there you go you got it oh there we go finally aaron is on dude once i figure it out i got this Last light, had to get at least one. This feels really big. It's the rod, it's the rod. No, dude, it's, it's, oh, you just lost it. That was a really big fat snook or was that a common slot? I don't know, that's big. He played you, dude. I'm so afraid. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> I knew, I was like, dude, maybe the fat snook is different. This feels huge. They also just get their head in that current because, you know, and, and it's deep down. Again. Again. <laughs> Unless I'm hitting something. Okay, I set my You're on. To that. Oh, oh <laughs> dude. <laughs> Bro, this is bad. That one was huge, though, compared to, like, what I was expecting, you know? Yeah. I got to retire. I'm going to lose your, your thing. There we go. Nice. Get him. It's a good size one. Yeah, they're so funny compared to common snook. These I, are such big fat snook. That's a good size one. Like, that's a really big size. You gotta measure that one. Okay. He literally almost swallowed it. Nice, That's dude. A huge fat snook. Yeah, and look at how deep he ate it. Sick. Oh, just lost one. Do you mind uh, if you get me a clip of me talking over this? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Like with uh, your, you want me to use my other camera? You can use just your head cam and send it to me. All right, looks like it's right? 27 inches. All right, fishaholics. Well, we're gonna wrap things up and uh, we caught a lot of fish today. We had to work for them, but uh, that's fishing for you. And uh, it was pretty cool to come to this spot here that's uh, been pretty productive. And we didn't come here earlier because we were waiting for the incoming tide to really get going. And then, you know, we were getting fish, doing the other stuff and, uh, you know, fishing a lot of structure. But uh, if only the incoming tide started sooner, we would have been here sooner and probably could have, um, you know, caught like another 
five or 10 or more, who knows? Uh, the last couple of days I've been having like 20 to 30 fish uh, snook days. But uh, Aaron, how was that 27 inch snook? That was my biggest fat snook and I've lived in Florida my whole life besides like three, four years for work in Massachusetts. And I've never caught one bigger than 25 and, and Rich has been on them, so that's crazy. Yeah, it's been pretty epic right here. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely uh, check out Aaron's channel. I'll put the uh, link in the description and uh, I'll put all, all my tackle and equipment down in the description below. And uh, we're gonna race on back to the ramp and hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode. And like always, live to fish, fish today.